that I'm fighting for my life now. I want, I want my life back. Albert James sorts through pictures taken over the 53 years of his life, 22 of which James spent behind bars for a variety of drug-related crimes. After years of sobriety, James relapsed last year. Now he shares a room with other former drug abusers at Odyssey House, a drug treatment facility in New York City. This is the longest I ever did in a program, and, and it works for me because what it's doing for me is giving me time to really think of the mistakes that I have made. The nearly 300 people treated by Odyssey House are an example of a shift in thinking among American lawmakers. The CEO of Odyssey House has watched as treatment has gained favor over imprisonment. But as Dr. Peter Provet shows visitors around an art show spotlighting some of his residents' work, he knows rhetorical backing is one thing and funding is another. While there is a verbal recognition, if you will, we, we've yet to see uh, considerable investment in treatment services. Susan Plaza sees this reality daily as the director of treatment at Odyssey House. Plaza helped get Albert James back into treatment. There's not enough being done to concretely put together resources to provide more opportunity and access for treatment. Bottom line. The head of the National District Attorneys Association and former Bush administration appointee Scott Burns says the funding problems lie not with the federal government, but with the states. Some states have cut funding for treatment during the recession, even as national data continue to show treatment to be cheaper than incarceration. Would you rather pay uh, 25 cents to divert this person into treatment and try and get them help, or a dollar to lock them up? Many see the appointment of treatment expert Tom McClellan to the White House's Office of National Drug Control Policy as a sign financial support might increase. McClellan believes it's not just about funding, but also how funding is distributed. We have law enforcement, we have prevention, we have treatment. And they've been disproportionately uh, funded, disproportionately used. If we rebalance them, I think the American public is going to get a much smarter, much more efficient kind of care. What you do is what you do. Albert James has benefited from living in New York, one of the few states that recently has increased funding for treatment. I look in the mirror now, I'm happy with who I see now. He now talks a lot about the future, a future he believes started with his treatment. Warren Levinson, The Associated Press.